What is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Awesome, where we talk about Unbox, give our first reaction to all things pop culture, whether it's Star Wars, McFarlane figures, Transformers, whatever it may be, we will unbox it so you don't have to. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and if you've been here before, thank you for coming again as you hear my pupper dog in the background playing around. Uh, so just a couple quick things. I forgot to do this on Monday, but I like to highlight a channel that I like to watch, a YouTube channel that I think that you all would love, and I think that would be great. And so today's YouTube channel is called Billy the Kid's No BS Reviews. I can't really say the word because this is a family channel. But if you are over the age of 14, 15, or 16, or whatever, or 13, Billy the Kid's No BS Reviews, he does some really great Transformers reviews. Really awesome dude. I tell you what, check him out. He gets some legend scales, all sorts of stuff. He also has a good reviewer code, so if you want to order some stuff from Show Z Store, things like that. So check out his channel, Billy the Kid, No BS Reviews. So without further ado, we're going to go to the McFarlane verse and show you something really awesome, an awesome two-pack that I got in the mail the other day that I would like to share with y'all. So let's go do this. And here you have it, folks, the Atomic Skull vs. Superman 2-pack Amazon exclusive. Look at that beautiful artwork. It's so amazing. There's no artwork up in the front, but there is some on the back. For those of y'all that don't know who Superman is, where have you been? Uh, he is all that represents truth, justice, and the American way, and all that freedom and liberty stuff. One of my favorite superheroes of those. Most people love Batman. Most people love Superman. I love Superman. I think he's great. So uh, he's my favorite of the two. And so Atomic Skull, if you don't know much about him, uh, he actually first appeared in 1976 in Superman number 303, and it was Albert Michaels was the first person to play him. And then uh, in Crisis on Infinite Earths happened, and he came back. And then also, basically, another person plays him called Joseph Martin, uh, and he's in there, and that's what most people know him as well. So he's been in Flashpoint, basically known as the arch nemesis, one of the arch nemeses of uh, Superman. So he's known to have superhuman strength, stamina, durability, and he can do a Atomic Blast, hence the name Atomic Skull. And so let's take a look at the front of the box, the side of the box, nothing. The back is where it's all at. Look at that figure. Uh, so, I mean, looks just like a... Um, Looks like a purpley version of Ghost Rider, right? But he's not. He's a skull that is atomic. And there's Superman with the dove flying right there in the background. There he is, the Man of Steel, the Action Comics. That's what's awesome. And then on this side, Atomic Skull versus Superman. My box came beat up from Amazon. So those of y'all that are in the box collectors, just realize that your box may come beat up. However, this is going to be an out-of-the-box guy here. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to getting this 12-plus toy out of the box. So let's do that right now here they are out of the box onto my table uh i don't know why i default to arnold schwarzenegger or my very bad arnold schwarzenegger but uh there they are the two pack and so far so awesome uh so let me just show you what you get of course you do get these two little guys i know some of y'all have a very good collection of these stands but you get two of those you also get the two cards again superman aka Clark Kent, aka Kal-El. Love that pose. I mean, that's just that's just awesome right there. Very, very cool. Uh, back of the card gives you a little bit about their history and things too as well. McFarland figures always comes with these cool cards. Uh, here's the Atomic Skull one, which looks very cool too as well. And this version of Atomic Skull is from Action Comics and it is the Joseph Martin version uh, on this. But uh, yeah, basically he has nuclear blast, all sorts of, he's just very cool. And this is what's cool. It says his skin and muscles literally peeled off his face, inspiring him to create a super villain for hire persona, atomic skill. Uh, so, but regularly clashed with Superman. And uh, so um, there we go. That's it. And so maybe he's like that nuclear man from the, the Superman movie. We will never talk about Superman for uh, the quest for peace. Never talk about that one. That one just doesn't exist. Uh, but let's take a look at what else is in the package. You get 
two more Superman hands, the flying hands. You also get uh, two purple atomic skull hands. You get this beautiful little uh, kind of like display set of flames, which is this translucent purple, which looks very cool. I mean, very, very cool. I bet you can run some lights in that. I wonder if it's black light. It'd be cool. Maybe, maybe I'll throw the black light on it, see what happens. I know it probably doesn't glow, but that looks very cool. And then let's start with the first figure, which is the Atomic Skull. There he is. Very, very awesome. Let me see if I can get him standing here really quickly and see if I can get you a measurement. As you know, all McFarlane figures have at least 22 points of articulation, and we will go through those 22 points. But there he is standing. Let me get him into the frame. And uh, we'll use the official Jimmy G ramen scale that we've done before. We'll start with four packs. And let's bring in a fifth pack. Looks like we're going to go five. And we may go six. So six packs of ramen. Uh, hi, is Mr. Skull. So Mr. Skull, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I like long walks on the beach, poetry in the sunlight, and uh, also poodles and cats. And I like blowing stuff up with my nuclear energy. Uh, so there he is, that that high, that, that uh, whatever tallness that you have right there. Uh, and then let's bring in Superman. So we've talked about how tall you are. Let's bring in the man of peace, the quest for justice and peace. And uh, standing him up, again, I always have a trouble uh, standing up McFarlane figures, uh, but I know some of y'all do not. There we go. He is standing I'm still standing. Na, 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 na. Walking like a true survivor. Let's get the ramen scale in here again. And we got two, three, and I believe we're probably going to be about that same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six ramen packets high for Superman as well. Ramen packets brought to you by Mama Ramen. Make sure you get some Mama Ramen. Try their new green curry flavored ramen. Uh, that. So there they are. So let's start with some articulation first with the Man of Steel. And so we'll take a look here first at the head. Head is, it moves up and down side to side. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that beautiful head sculpt. This 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 is my second Superman figure. I do have more that I haven't opened yet, but so far of the two, I'm liking this one. I like the curl. I like this one, and I'll show you my other Superman figure that I have. We'll compare them. But I, I de definitely am digging this one. The other one is more battle scar damage, but this one looks really cool. Um, but yeah, there we go, and that big old S on the chest, very very nice. Uh, and so from an arm articulation, we do spin here. Uh, we do have spin right there on the wrist and it does move, uh, as well. You do have the bend like so, and then you also have the spin right there. I don't know if you can see that, but yep, you do. Um, and then you can go up and you can kind of see you got like that extra, like just movement with that joint there that you can do. And so you got quite a bit of movement in those arms. I think, that, I think McFarlane does a really good job with a lot of those. Sometimes they come out a little loose, but there the top waist does spin. The bottom waist spins as well. Uh, so we got some spin there. And then the, the almost can do the Jean-Claude, but the underwear gets in the way. And there is the bottom. So you can kind of see the joint right there uh, of kind of the how it works. And you do have spin in that leg like so. Uh, so if you wanted to spin that around, you could. You do have the front kick the back kick and more than a 90 degree, a double jointed knee. And then the foot is on a bottle joint and you have that bend as well right there. And so quite a bit of articulation here, but yeah, just take a look at him. I mean, just that sculpt looks very, very cool. And if you want to see him standing vertically, just tilt your TV screen, just move it, just turn it that way. You know, you'll be able to see him. Uh, but there he is uh, from the front. From the side, 
from the back. How cool would it be to have the S right there? But that's okay. Uh, and from this side here too as well. Um, I like the plastic cape. I'd love to see kind of a, a cloth cape that you can kind of me mess with some, some wires with, but uh, the plastic one is okay on that. So let's move you aside, Superman. And let's bring in the Atomic Skull and take a closer look at that face. Uh, so you can kind of see here just the details in that. I just love that look. How cool would it be if you could have that light up, that hair light up? That would be awesome. Uh, but uh, almost looks like a cross between Iron Man and Ghost Rider, right? Kind of looks like uh, like the cross between the two from the Marvel Universe. But we're talking DC here. And I love these hands. These are like the atomic hands. And of course, you do have the regular hands for him right there. Uh, but from an articulation, you have the same thing. I mean, you, you, you got just about the same articulation top, middle, the arms. Now this will get in the way of your arm going all the way up, but, uh, but again, it's just kind of the way you want to play with it. And then of course you have the spin there and then the legs. You can Jean-Claude these guys because his underwear doesn't get in the way. Uh, but uh, again, with the leg, you do have that more than 90 degree bend. Uh, you can get, you can really get it out there and really looking cool uh, and gnarly with some of those poses on the atomic skull. But let's take a look kind of from the the uh, rotisserie official rotisserie view brought to you by costco's rotisserie chicken uh so there we go i mean just again i love the armor i love the the shades of purple on this guy with the gray right there too as well i think he looks really really awesome uh i was excited about having this figure at first just like you know i don't really know much about atomic skull i'm a big superman fan but i was like when i when i got this and i took it out of the box uh, just now, I think it looks great. Uh, the back, the side, uh, and there's the front. I wonder if they can use the same kind of body for like Brainiac. That would be awesome to have a Brainiac figure, which, get spoilers, I do have one that I haven't reviewed yet. Uh, and so that will come up in future vlogs. Uh, but there he is standing up. And just just to show you really easy, really quick, very easy to pop the hand off right there. Uh, it's on a little like kind of little ball. And then you can just take the hand and pop it on. You want to hear it pop. There you go. And now I've got just a regular hand and my atomic hand. You can do that with Superman as well. Uh, switch, switch, mix and match hands on them. So let's do this. Let's get him with some, let's get these two with some other characters so we can kind of do a little size comparison, shall we? So let's do it. And here is Atomic Skull and Superman lined up with some other figures. We have Nightfall Batman. We have my Doomsday Superman there. So we'll, you can kind of see the difference between the two uh, soups there. Uh, 3.75 Chewbacca, Sukuna from Anime Heroes, 5-inch McFarlane, Marvel Retro Wolverine, 6-inch Boba, my Darth Jesus, and my Transformers Legacy Bludgeon. Uh, so um, let's move you all out of the way here. And so there you can see them as comparison. Uh, but I do want to show you just really quickly, uh, just look from the size of these two. Um, Atomic Skull is bigger. He is a little bit bigger, a head bigger uh, than, than Superman. You can kind of see that there. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, so just from a scale standpoint, he's a little bigger than Superman. Um, and uh, again, if we want to take a look at the two Supermen, uh, like I said, he's more raggedy and beat up. This one's got more more... He looks more, uh, well, polished. Uh, but uh, of the two, this one, of course, definitely is one of my, is my favorite of the two molds on that. Uh, but uh, very, very cool. I mean, you can take a look from the side. I mean, overall, the outfit looks the same. This outfit has some battle damage over here. Uh, and then, of course, the cape does have the damage as well. Uh, but... Those are those two Superman, the Doomsday versus Superman one, and then now the Atomic Skull versus Superman uh, one. So let's get back together and talk through some of my final thoughts. Why am I sounding like that? Let's do it. Prematurely said, let's get into my final thoughts. One thing I do want to show you again, this is this right here uh, does have uh, basically where you can pose them. What's great is you got a peg here, a peg here, uh, and you also have a peg here. Uh, where you can kind of pose them in different poses and put them on here. So like for instance, I could take Superman and just make sure his foot, uh, let's put this foot here. And we'll put this foot over here. And 
so we can bend this up like so and go hey let's fight right superman could be like let's fight it out and uh we can get let's let's put on his glowing hand here excuse me while i put on a different hand you make myself more comfortable he's handy uh so we can then make that look like so like so and we can kind of maybe stick that foot <sighs> actually there's a this is interesting maybe superman you, you can put him wherever you want to but there's a peg right here that you can you can do some stuff with uh so you can really get like maybe superman in a cool pose on here and and then get him kind of standing over here uh going hey let's fight let's do what we need to um but but we will get them in cool poses that you can kind of see uh so boom oh yeah you can remove that there that's cool you can remove part of the part of the flames there so like yeah there's a kind of just to show you a little bit of kind of what how you can stand them uh so superman and and atomic skull getting ready to duke it out do it do it out uh, but, uh, but yeah, you could definitely put them in different places and different poses with that little set, or you can just use this right here and just pose them without the set on there. So, but yeah, sorry about that. Let's get back now and talk through some of my final thoughts, put them in some poses and get them on the wheel of fortune and all that good stuff. And so we're back from outer space. I see you sitting there with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have something, something's the, but uh, there they are. My final thoughts on Atomic Skull versus Superman. Uh, this is probably the pose that I will keep them in, you know, just kind of, I might play with this a little bit to make it more purdy, but this is it. This is the battle of the, not the century. That was Doomsday and Superman was the battle of the century. This is the battle of the decade. Uh, let's just say that. But overall impressions, I really love the colors. Like seeing this in person, it is phenomenal. It is very cool. And if I can do some LED light work, I would do it on this and in and see if I can install some in here because that would be very, very cool uh, to be able to get kind of like that radioactive feel and that look for it. But this Superman mold right here, I really, really enjoy it. I mean, you can kind of see that face, that face of determination, the little curl that, I, that I'm so used to seeing. Let's see if I can do that curl. Nope. Now I just look like an emo kid. Now I just, yeah, now I just... So tonight will be the first night. All right, anyway, so um, but uh, that Superman curl, uh, just the blue, red, the yellow. This this is just awesome. And then this guy, I don't care if he's a mix between Iron Man and Ghost Rider. I think he looks great. I think he looks good. Like I said, I don't know much about Atomic Skull, uh, but when I saw this this two pack, I mean anything with Superman for me is is a must, except and I'll be reviewing it later, the, the Shrek Superman that I got. Uh, that one's kind of weird looking. But anything with Superman is something that I would really enjoy. And look at that atomic skull, that facial sculpt. Again, man, if you can get some lights and stuff. If you were a modder, this would be great. Um, and you can see the different poses you can put them in. Uh, Superman with a flight stand, that's the way to pose them. Or with this little stand right here, I think that's the way to go. Uh, that would be... This is... I can't say too much bad things about this figure. I think it looks great. I think it's it's awesome. Um, and so on a good, good, bad, awesome, it is awesome. So this figure alone is awesome. This figure is awesome. So it's awesome squared. Uh, so that means it's a, a squarely awesome uh, in the DC universe. Now, uh, some of y'all be like, why don't you review Marvel figures and stuff like that? I can't get into another one. Come on, guys. I only got so much in my pocket. I only got so much money. Uh, but someday, maybe I'll get into Marvel Legends. But uh, my favorite between DC and Marvel is DC. I love 
some DC. Uh, now, what, which one do y'all like? Some of y'all may be Marvel folk. Some of y'all may be DC folk. Some of y'all may be like, I am not partial. I just love a good story. Um, but DC has always spoke to me. Now, that Marvel, like I said, I, now, I'm not dissing Marvel. Marvel is great. I love Marvel. I love some of the characters from that. I love Spider-Man. I love Wolverine. Uh, and those, those, those timeless characters and the, and the, the reality when they came out of the, the things they were facing. But, and DC, that, that was just my, my first love uh, on comic books there. Superman, when I saw Christopher Reeve uh, suit up as Superman for the first time, I just like, that was awesome. And then, of course, Michael Keaton as Batman, super awesome. Uh, but this is great. And George Newbern as Superman, Kevin Conroy as Batman. I mean, that, that's all I got to say about that. I love this figure. My cons on it, I don't have too many of them. Um, yeah, I really, I really don't have too many cons on this figure. Uh, I'm trying to think of something, but I can't. I can't. I like it. Uh, and I'm fanboying over this. I'm gushing over it. So this is awesome squared for me. So if you, I would encourage you get on Amazon. This is a great duo to pick up. Uh, if, if you want to, if you don't want to pick it up, then that's fine. That's okay. It's your prerogative. It's your money. You do what you want with it. You know, pay your bills, pay your electric bills, or get Superman. Uh, and, and put some lights in him so that way when your lights get shut off, you have some illumination. Uh, so that is all I've got to say about that. So tune in next time when we talk about something good, bad, or awesome. But in the meantime, y'all, remember to stay young. Have fun in your lives and be extremely, amazingly, stupendously, incredibly awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.